I'm Thea Lynn, and this is Soul School. And today, in episode 6 of Angelic Realms, I want to talk about the different levels or layers that we can discover when we delve in and experience heaven. So many writers and many mystics over the generations have described their inner journeys quite vividly often. And so we have got a lot of mystical literature that can guide us and help us when we want to follow that trail. I thought I'd read you something from Emanuel Swedenborg, who wrote um, a book called Heaven and Hell. And he was a, um, well, he was a very practical man, but basically he was, he started off as an engineer and he became extremely well known, famous, a bit of a rock star in the engineering world, so that people would gather to hear him talk. And he was well known in, you know, circles of wealthy people. So when in his middle 50s he started to talk about spiritual matters, because of various experiences he was having, he had quite a good audience. So here's something that he says in that book. There are three heavens. These follow in sequence and are interdependent. The deeper levels of the human mind and disposition are in a similar pattern as well. We have a central, intermediate and outmost nature. This is because when humanity was created, the whole divine design was gathered into it to the point that as to structure, the human being is the divine design and is therefore a heaven in miniature. For the same reason we are in touch with heaven as to our inner natures. So the outside and the inside in the heavens are like sides of ourselves. What he calls the volitional side and its cognitive aspect. So the volitional is like a flame. It's the desire, the burning of uh, of the heavenly joy and the cognitive aspect is how we can become aware of that within us and we can therefore conclude that the state of our inner natures is what constitutes heaven and that heaven is within each of us and not outside us well of course Jesus had already said uh, many hundreds of years earlier that heaven is within the kingdom of heaven is within you now although Swedenborg says that there are three heavens one of them is central one of them is intermediate one of them is outmost in the model he has then if we look at that central uh, arena of heaven and how it connects with our outmost being. The intermediate bit is the bridge between them, which is where I suggest you find your personal angel or your daimon. A daimon is an intermediary between the two arenas of outside and inside, so to speak. So when we interact with the world, we are like um, on, um, on the edge of the sea and we can stand on the land or the sea and the great ocean of consciousness will be behind us in, in our subconscious and we look out to the land because that's the part that we wish to engage with as human beings. We are embodied, but this ocean of consciousness is behind us 
And if we turn around when we meditate and we enter the levels of that amazing ocean, then we discover all these different arenas of activity, of psychic or soul activity. And within that, there are many, many layers of being and intelligence. And Carl Jung, very famously, most people know about his concept of archetypes. Well, the archetypes have the capacity to appear to us and that we can interact with them. And they don't just belong to us as individuals, they belong to the whole of creation. And those archetypes are highly mysterious, very potent and powerful. And we could equate them with what is called in Jewish mysticism an archangel and in Christian mysticism as well because that follows on. So when we turn our attention to the inner world, the first place we go is this intermediary place and this is where our personal angel or our daimon can guide us and lead us into a more um, abstract arena which is becomes less personal to us, becomes transpersonal and it's there that we can interact with the archetypes or the archangels. Now archetypes are very abstract but when we personify them as archangels then we can engage with them in a more human kind of way. But the layers of intelligence and uh, in these inner structures, which are like almost like uh, crystals in the way that they <clears throat> form and have specific patterns um, going on all the time, but still conforming to various uh, potentials, because they're so mysterious and so abstract, uh, unless we find a way to engage with them um, from our human perspective, with our human language, then we would be lost. So although we should not consider that we could possibly limit the extent of what an angel at that uh, level can be, an archangel could possibly be. Nonetheless, if we create for ourselves some kind of image or icon or, or prayer or, you know, way of opening a conversation so we engage with those invisible entities, invisible divinities, then we bring something into our world that is valuable and beautiful and potentially brings us the capacity for healing and extending all those beautiful qualities that we would like to bring into the world through our lives. So by engaging with an archangel you personally will not only do something very profound for your own spiritual growth but you are opening a portal for that archangel to express itself through you but also through anybody else that you meet who can pick up the, the vibration of that quality because you have already been conversing with it. So it feels like a private matter to go into your inner kingdom, your inner heavenly layers and explore them, but it's a very potent thing for you to do for the collective.
of humanity. So be willing to offer your time. It's a service and it will bring its own rewards, all kinds of rewards that you might not even imagine. Uh, because this is an arena of creativity, it is where the outside world that we experience is being created. So what goes on in your individual psyche or soul arena within, what goes on there is what will be mirrored in your outer experience and collectively that can have an effect. Just one person doing that can have an effect. So time to discover about the archangels and I particularly work with a group of archangels associated with the Jewish mystical map of the Tree of Life. So in the next episode, I'm going to talk about them in more detail. Let me know if you've got any questions. You can go to my website and just email me, thelin at thelin.com, because any questions that come in while I'm making this series, I'll try to address them. Many blessings.